What is up? This is your boy Anecdotal, and today it is the second birthday or anniversary of MSI Metal Slug Infinity. So we got a whole lot of goodies. We got something you gotta collect. As always, the units, the gems, and the four buffs, everything included. So right now, everything right now is popping off. We got the event battle, which is definitely one of my favorite events. Used to be my favorite, but at this point, it's happened so much that I'm not really sure <laughs> what, what it is I love the most. But with the second anniversary comes the new artifact for that second anniversary. And you know what it actually has me looking at? The fact that I still didn't max out the first one, man. What? Yeah, man. So there are a couple of surprises in this particular event. One for me is that I cannot beat the last stage to get that second anniversary uh, slot. The very last one cannot beat it. Don't know what's going on over there. There was a patch the, the, the very next day after this, this launch. And I thought, oh, cool. Maybe they fixed the difficulty. I don't know what was going on there boom still lost so i don't know what it is but hey there's still like three other locations to farm it so you know 30 less a day guess i guess i'm just gonna have to deal with it not like i got the first one so that's going down there should be a new world boss i i believe like i, I don't know if that's just in my head but i feel like something like that is happening even though we're not even close to maxing out the artifact for the for the world boss that just came out but with all these cupcakes hopefully i get lucky enough and get i get the 200 artifact prize off all three of the little i don't know sections so looking at this right here, I went ahead and spent as much as you as much as possible. Usually I spent up to six or eight hundred. This time I went ham eight hundred because it's day one. After that, I spent a whole lot of gems. Like you can see right here, the, the gems, <coughs> the gems I have, twenty two k plus gems. I, I went ahead and just started enhancing everyone I had for no reason at all. Uh, just completely forgot this event was going on for some reason and just threw all my gems there instead of throwing all my gems here where i can get all these set rewards uh, off these lists so for me my recommendation is to just go ham on that list unless of course you already have the 200 uh prize for each one of the sets so currently i'm really hoping i can get that prize right now and then i'll move on to set two and set three if i'm lucky enough to get it but if the rng is not on my side i know that by the end i will at the very least have the first two sets complete other than that there's not really much i'm looking forward uh to in there because the vast majority of my units are maxed i'm not really looking for any slugs and and the new ones that came out like that's almost the only thing i have to farm so if you go ahead and look at my list i have all of it uh, another thing that's going on is if you do go ahead and play the artifacts uh you you're gonna get these extra boxes and you'll have a whole lot of goodies in there. That is an excellent thing. The other thing that was added to the game is that there's like another place to farm. Um, what are they called? There's another place to farm gear. So the gear that you get there, of course, is exponentially better, but you only have eight tickets for the whole 24 hour day. So there's no reason to log back in. Now, what the game does have to do real quick is when you do go into into that game mode, they should just automatically put you onto that normal that normal tab because the other tab doesn't refresh so every single time i go back in there trying to get all the extra gear i can be on the one that actually does refresh i always got to click back to the tab in order to do so so that part is a little bit annoying so if anyone's hearing that out there make the switch man but again uh my my goal in the game was to actually just try to get all the units to 10 stars so you can see i have 3790 soldier points and i only have the bottom row right now of units so of course if i really wanted to maximize my gains i should have been putting everything <laughs> into artifacts but no nah, man my, my goal my goal was to get all the units and it kind of still is i just i just want to have them all and then uh, because I have so many extra units now, so many extra soldier pieces, what I'm actually doing now is I'm going to the, the soul exchange and I'm going to go ahead and try to max out all of the event artifacts like ASAP now that I actually can do that. And I'm not really too worried about getting my enhancement to plus 10 for any of my other soldiers at the moment because I pretty much have everyone that I need. So 
the real progress I'm gonna get is going to be from gear and from maxing out my my other slugs so like I already have three maxed so really I I don't really have to do it but yeah man slugs for like PvP but really gear also for PvP and just to get further and that's really all I need that's the only thing I have to focus on is that and an artifact so in, in order gear number one but there's not much i can actively do on that sure i can spend some gems there but i think it's kind of a waste of time at this point the second thing i can do is work on artifacts and the third which is way low is start working more on slugs but i already have my main slugs so i'm i'm pretty set there so there's really only two things other than that of course there's there's the perpetual thing of working on war books but for that, I'm still waiting for more boot camp stages. It always feels like I'm just not quite getting enough resources from boot camp. I thought for a second that they were going to give you more stages, like more stages would be unlocked with this update, but that didn't happen. Instead, what we got in lieu of that is a 30% increase for the boot camp materials that you do gain. And 30%, I believe, is the highest. I, I think maybe there may have been an event where it was like 50%. But normally 20% increase is what you get for boot camp. Seeing that we now are getting 30, which is, from my memory, usually as high as it goes, with the exception of like maybe one or two times I saw 50%, but that's that's totally like out of the norm. So this is definitely when you wanna go ahead and spend your tickets. It's now, it's when it's 30%. So go ahead, you can go ahead and spend all of that there. All right, so in the rift battle, a couple more people were added. At this point, those those artifacts, I, I guess, don't really matter that much. So what I will do is I'll get those to six star if they matter. I feel like I'm definitely going to get sniper to six star so that I don't have to worry too much about boot camp because I, I believe you get two, an extra two tickets. And then the Leona one, I don't really remember what what that is, what the what the boost was at six star. But I think I have them all at four star at the moment, if not. I don't know man uh, at this point i'm really looking at, at getting a couple of them to like 11 star so i can get like a huge boost of artifacts and i don't have to worry about getting like 50k rift stones i can get 12k rift stones every single day for playing world boss 24k if i choose to ref refresh it with 100 gems so this has been your boy anecdotal if you like this video man make sure to like and share with anybody from the msi community and of course don't forget to make yourself known and comment down below Peace.